What's up, sports to the bone family? What's up? What's up? A blessed evening to you all. Welcome back to another video. No rest for the wicked. At it, at it, at it again. All right, so coming up in this one, we have two things to talk about. We're going to be taking a look at the IPL. Yes, man, we see where Mumbai Indians and CSK did battle. And it's another defeat for Kyron Pollard and the Mumbai Indians. We're also going to be taking a look at Tyson Fury. He had a few things to say about um, his opponent that he will be taking on, who is Dillian um, White, in you know their upcoming match that will be going on on Saturday. So we're going to take a look at those things. Also, remember, guys, we are going to be live this evening at 6, right? So we're talking about 6 uh, p.m. America time. You know, that would make it run about 5 p.m. Jamaica time. So make sure that you come out. And we're going to have a, quite a few things to talk about. West Indies cricket It's going to be talking about our um, former captain, Karen Pollard. We're going to be talking about um, the IPL, you know, the boxing. If you guys follow boxing, quite a few things to talk about, man. So just make sure you come on over and have a chat with us. So hit that subscribe button before you leave the winner, guys. Don't leave the video until you subscribe. All right, so let's get straight into it. So Mahendra Singh Dhoni once again proved too hot to handle this as he was able to hand um Karan Pollard Sharma and the Mumbai Indians another defeat it went down right to the wire basically but um the cool calm Mahendra Singh Dhoni was able to uh basically you know bring it across the line for his team I mean uh, you know no no retired West Indies cricketer um Karan Pollard failed once again you know was unable to get it going with the bat and I tell you, Rohit Sharma was also unable to get it with the bat. I think he, he had a second ball duck. So another duck for Rohit Sharma. Seems as if the, 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 the so-called big, big names in the IPL or off the IPL, they're having a tough time out there this season. You understand people like the Sharma, the, the Pollard, the, the Virat Kohli, that usually do well for their franchise teams. You know, they are, they are definitely not getting it, getting it together at all. You know, so those two guys were unable to really put together much. And more often than not, when um, Sharma don't fire at the top, you know, my uh, Mumbai Indians tend to come out and they lose inside. And that is exactly what happened again today. So Varma once again got some scores, got some runs. He had 51 of uh, 43. Yadav came in at the middle, you know, down in the middle there. Got 32 from 21 to basically help things along Pollard. You know, he got a start. He got 14 of 9, but he was unable to push on. You know, when you get um, 14 in a T20 game, you know, worse if you don't get a 6 or 4 and then probably another 4. If you, if you work your way in and, and face a couple of deliveries, you know, getting up to 14, you, know, you, you definitely be expecting to kick on. But um, our, our former West Indian player was unable, was unable to do that. You know, so another, another um, bad day for... For Mumbai Indians, you know, the senior players not um not firing at all and the team in general not uh not getting it off. I see they have some memes around social media, you know, people just making fun. We see they 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 walking up and down with some pictures with Jaffa Archer. You know, they have Archer laying down in a sofa. They show that the Mumbai Indians fan taking him out and all sorts of things. So I'm not sure if they are putting all their chips or all their eggs in one basket for Jaffa Archer next season. You know, but um, based on how the season is going on, they're definitely going to have to look to plan for next um, next season. Try and get some, some fresh faces in, some fresh players in. Um, the, the, the auction didn't go too well at all for them. You understand? So uh, that, that is basically... You know, really, really coming back to, to, to really pinch them, as they would say. They got 155 for 7. 155 for 7 after 20 overs. Now, Dwayne Bravo was, you know, he, he did his thing. 2 for 36 from 4 overs. Always um, picking up wickets for his team, Chennai Super Kings. And that is exactly what he did today. He went over the 20s, you know, but not too far, just 36 off his bowling. Usually, Bravo would give you two for 20 something, you know, but um, today they got some more runs off him. Two for 36 from his four. Uh, you know, so as I said, Bravo being Bravo, you know, carrying out his last name, Bravo. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, so as it relates to chasing down that 155, um, Chennai Super Kings, they really, really made heavy work off it. 
and you know it went right down to where Donny had to step in and I think he had a uh, I think he had maybe about 16 of the last four deliveries and he was able to bring it across the line so Don is showing that he's still the finisher and still one of the top finishers in the, the franchise system or in the franchise league or you know, IPL uh, T20 cricket so 16 I think it was of the last four four deliveries and Don was able to take it home carving out another victory for CSK therefore handing um, Roy Sharma and his team another defeat Jaja I tell my viewers and subscribers things really not going um to plan uh, for, for, for Roach Sharma and his and his charges you know um all they have to do is just stay out there continue putting in the work uh see um Mumbai Indians that is hopefully they will get a couple of games to 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 really um finish off their campaign good and um you know they will look to build for next season uh it's 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 still I would want to say it's still early days yet in the IPL, so it's not like we're counting them off or writing them off from making the, the, the four, top four or, or anything like that. But you know, um it's it's really strange to see them to see them um battling like this, you know. But uh let, let us see, let us see how things will turn out for them. We're definitely gonna continue to keep an eye out and see exactly how it goes, right? So that's basically it where the IPL is concerned. Now we're going to talk a little bit of boxing because our Tyson Fury, yes, my viewers and subscribers, he was talking and, you know, he was basically addressing the odds that you see out there advertising. I guess people have him as high favorite to really go out there and, and, and take care of Dillian um, White. You know, so he was basically letting people say that, you know, um, he, he, you know, just letting him know that he, he, he's just, he just has to laugh when he see the ads out there because, you know, the, 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 the gentleman is a good fighter. He's a very good fighter and, you know, just letting the people know that, hear what, I actually train equally as hard for this fight as I would have trained for um, somebody like a Dele, um, Deontay Wilder or even a, a, a Joshua. You understand Anthony Joshua that is so you know um people need to give him credit where credit is due uh the Dillian because he's a good fighter according to to to, to Tyson Fury uh I, I think the big the, the big match will be on Saturday this Saturday at um Wembley at the Wembley um National Stadium they will do battle and um you know he will be challenging uh Tyson Fury for his belt so it's it's going to be a good one my viewers and subscribers definitely going to try my best to see if i can um if i can if i can see see the fight no uh, tyson tyson fury is quoted as saying um we will not take him lightly we will go out there and do what needs to be done and get the job done right um dillian did not turn up for for his press conference i think four or five days ago we are not sure why when Tyson Fury was asked about this, you know, he basically said that he was actually waving the white flag already. You know, that Dillian was waving the white flag already, you know, throwing in the towel. So um, seems as if it's going to definitely be a good one. Um, Dillian was saying that, White was saying that, you know, he finally gets, a, 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 well, he gets a fight, a big fight, you know, at his, you can't say at his home. You know, so he will definitely be going out there to put on a good show for his for his home fans, for his people, to show them what he's capable of. And he will definitely and he's definitely ready to rock and roll. So yeah. Lot of talking in my viewers and subscribers. This this one isn't really a, we don't really see a lot of a a a, 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 a punching as it relates to, to words, you know, but um they, they, they're still talking, they're still talking. Boxing is boxing is something that I really love, you know, guys. I don't talk about it a lot because you know, not a lot of top fights go on each year. You know, for professional boxers, they probably will give you maybe two or, or so fight for the years, three maybe, because of the whole um punching and thing like that and, and head business, you know, you can't really do a lot of fighting. But boxing is definitely something that I, I really like. And you know, remember guys, we are going to be live later on this evening. So we'll definitely take a look at that. I know we have quite a few persons on the program that usually follow the boxing i think um uh, somebody like a richard i think even sheldon and 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 a few other guys and and um contact 20 you know i always see them posting about about things like that in the comment section so we're definitely expecting to have a wonderful time this evening on the live show so guys just turn out and make sure you come and you know show your support hit that subscribe button my peeps until later on big up on yourselves yeah?